G'day guys, welcome back to another video of Westland, we are back. So, how are we doing? Hope you guys are all well, hopefully you guys are staying safe. Anyway, what we're going to do today, I'm going to take you along with me for this one, uh, we're going to head over to the Northern Outlaws Stopover. Why? Because we got one of these. So, an eye for an eye quest, so I want to head over there and um, sort this out for this person here that wanted to reach out to us which was awesome so we'll go ahead and do that now and we'll get right into it so what I did before was I essentially walked all the way from home over to here because you cannot walk once you get into the colder area so we're gonna do that I'm gonna race over now we'll get into it and particularly the only reason why I want to get this is the coins <laughs> the coins is the only reason why that's um, wanting me to come over here but also, I haven't actually been here for a little while now, so it is a good time to sort of have a look at it. And hopefully we, um, okay, quest updated. Hopefully we can sort this out. Now, I've already been through here. Hmm. No way. Okay. I'm going to eliminate the gang leader and go back to Phil. But, I need to find out where the gang leader is in all this. And I've already raided this as well, so what is going on here? Does he spawn in somewhere? He, he would have to spawn in somewhere. I'm guessing he would be in here, but he's actually not. Okay. Okay, it's like that I have been here before, prior to this quest, and this never reset it, which is quite strange. I was, I thought that the developers did mention that they reset, they had reset all of these zones just recently, not long ago. A little while back, but not too long ago for me to, um, for me to do this in between that. Yeah. So, I don't know who would be the, the gang leader here. Because I have completely looted this place. I don't know, do I have to go up to one of the gang, uh, one of the guys in up here? I have absolutely no clue. I don't think so. Was it him? No, he's just a regular goon. He's another regular goon. But here's a chest. Interesting. Am I not looking at something correctly? Well, I've got to eliminate a gang leader, but I don't know. I think this is stuck. I think I have a stuck um, quest here. Interesting. Because like I said, there's no one else around here for me to tackle or take on. You have a Beretta, which I'll take. I can always get that repaired. Uh, well, you have that, and I'll just take that with me anyway. But I'm just hoping that if I were to sort of go over one of these... Um, uh, Outlaws here, it'll update the quest, maybe? I have no idea. I don't want to spend too much time in here. Now that there's nothing happening, oh hang on. Oh no, I thought, I thought that was an arrow for a second. I thought, wow, okay. Where, how did I miss it? That's where, that's where he was. I have no idea. Yeah. Absolutely nothing here. is so chilly, yes it is, but we've got winter clothing and we are fine. Yeah, no clue. Alright, well, that was a bit of a letdown. That was a massive letdown. There's a henchman, there's an outlaw, there's a smuggler. I don't know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to go through all of these guys here because... None of them doesn't look 
Well, none of these guys look any different to, well, each other, really. Ooh, there's another Beretta. Just take those with me, I don't know. Yeah, see, like... I don't know, am I wasting my time getting these Berettas? I probably am, but... They're there, I may as well grab them. Um, yeah, okay. What will happen if I leave the area? Well, let's get out of here. Well, that was a bit of a letdown. Alright. It's gonna be re it's gonna reset in the next seven days. Cool. So I don't know where the gang leader is. Honestly. I have absolutely no idea. What I might do with that is I'm gonna let that um, expire and I'll just have it reset because there's no other way of doing it. Not that I can see. Alright, well, let's um, head over to town. What I was doing just yesterday, actually, is I wanted to uh, do all the tasks, the hunts, um, all, in, all in one, basically. So I, I did all three of them that I'm aware of. So we've got the, the deer, the coyote, and then we've got the bear. And I was hopeful that, well, initially I was hopeful that if we did all three of them, there would be different types of um, uh, tasks for us to do and that didn't happen so what I thought was okay let's see if I do all of them all at once and will that give me the option to I don't know um, have newer hunts like the ones that we haven't had before so I don't have any bets so I'm gonna come back in a couple of days well this he said he this would have been reset it in seven hours so I must have done something right and I can't do that because I need to wait for another 24 hours so yeah we really don't have much else to do here this is really really annoying well let's see if there's any uh, bounties on the notice board there back at base and if there is well we may as well just go ahead and do you know a regular bounty because I haven't got anything else to do here which is really really disappointing so we'll race back over I'll switch over some clothes and we can um yeah we'll see what's going on okay back at base once it loads through of course here we go do I have anything? I've got absolutely nothing. Wow. Wow. They're really making me wait those couple of days before I can actually go and do something. That is very, very concerning. Well, I might as well dump all of this in here. And what else is there to do? Really nothing. I might as well just drop a few things into here. Well. Do apologize guys because I have actually absolutely got nothing interesting to sort of show you here except for the fact that I've got well not much of anything to, to sort of show for it to be honest maybe if I sort of duck in and out of the base here maybe there might be something that'll pop up and then we can at least do something with ourselves today I don't know uh, doesn't appear to be that way well Let's see if there's any, um, I have been hoarding up resources, so a little bit, not a lot, but a little bit. I don't know if I've got enough, but we'll find out. And let's just jump into the, um, the build menu here. So where do we leave off with all of this? I managed to get, okay, here we go. What I'm looking at here is a little bit further down, okay. Do I have some resources? Okay, well, I may as well upgrade. Well, that was short-lived. I figured if I could upgrade a few things, that'll, you know, sort of break the time up. But we may as well head out and I might go and break some shale down. That might be the way to go. I don't know. Um, do I have any pickaxes? I hope I do. Because right now, 
I I would have imagined that I should have been doing that um, that other quest there. And because I'm not doing it, it's sort of completely thrown me out of whack. Does it ever happen to you guys where you pretty much think that you've got something set up, ready to go, it's all queued up, and then all of a sudden um, you get, I don't know, you get blindsided at the fact that, no, you can't do that. So you have to, you know, redo something else to, you know, get something else happening. I don't know. But we'll go over to Stone Plateau over here, see what's what. Yeah, I'm really disappointed about that. Oh well, I guess this, these are the type of things that everyone would experience from time to time. So, you know, instead of not doing this video, let's just do this video anyway and just call it a hangout for today. Uh, I think that might be the way to do it. And yeah, I, I guess, you know, once all these um, all these things are reset, I can actually, you know, do what I need to do, I guess, and, you know, provide you better content. So, yeah. So, again, like I said, it is what it is. Um, we'll have to continue on and, you know, ride with it, I guess. So, well, as I'm doing it here, I may as well just grab shale and more shale, and I just have to, yeah, bit of a grinding one today, so knew this was going to happen but we'll um we'll break a few of these things up and we'll clear out the zone and to be honest i think we might call it a video after that but at least you guys will sort of get to hang out with me say good day let's talk about anything you know this could be uh, in anything video if there's any you know anything concerning about the game, where you guys are at level wise, you know, let, let me know, drop it in the comments, we'll have a chat, I'll, um, I'll try and answer everyone's um, response, and yeah, any sort of concerns, or, well, you know, now that the update has come out for about over a week now, you know, what's next, what could we, could we be looking at for, an, for a future update, I think pretty much most of which, um, all the zones have been redesigned, I think there might be one or two. Um, that may need to get redesigned and updated. I would think that that will probably come in the next update to be honest with you guys um, But otherwise from there from a content perspective um, You know who knows what will be next. I think what they may do is they may update the um, The hunts potentially Whoops. That's my thought process behind it. I don't know um, I think possibly they may do something like that. They might give us um, you know, maybe the same type of hunts, oh, sorry, hunts, but also, um, uh, what do you call it? Maybe different weapons or, di or different situations that you need to be in before you can um, uh, hunt the said animal. Maybe it'll be like, lo like a naked challenge, maybe. You know, you can't use any armor or you can't use armor or, sorry, weapons rated over a certain amount just to sort of make it uh, interesting. But in turn, I would have hoped that they would make a um, uh, the reward system a little bit more attractive for us to do that, of course. So, you know, um, that would be something that I'd be looking at, you know, if I, if I were the developers as a suggestion. But again, you know, they, they could be, they, they would have something different. They would have, they'll definitely have something in place right now, you know, getting ready for the next update. Possibly, it's probably already in development, who knows, um, or it's pretty much ready to go they just have to wait it out until they decide to drop it but again due to what's going on with, um, with what's happening in the world at the moment you know I would think that updates may take a little bit longer and we, we would just have to um, would have to respect that because we can't really ask for people that may not have the ability or the capacity to you know work from home to do what they would normally do in a work environment so I know there'll, there'll be a lot of other places that would be, be able to do that, but I think Westland has been updating, you know, or they've pushed an update since, the, um, you know, everything's been happening. So I'll be interested to see, will they sort of keep on with that um, in the same sort of time frame um, as, you know, as I have always been, you know, so far. I don't know, but who knows? Ooh, I'll grab that and that's grab what's over here of course 
But what what do you think would be next for the new for the next update? What would you like to see the developers throw out? I know what a lot of people would want. They would want fishing. They would want the wagon. Now, I covered this in a different video, and I'm still going to stay true to this. So, if you guys have heard of uh, Grim Soul, which is another survival-based game, uh, that one is done by Kofia, and these guys here that created Westland uses the same type of engine that has um, Grim Soul Last Day in Earth. So a lot of the um, attributes and things like that that I've seen have been, um, well, not essentially copied, but reused, repurposed for a, a slightly different game, which is good. It's not a bad thing because the way that this game is set up um, and all the other games is quite good, in my opinion. And I feel like if, it's not, if it ain't broken, don't fix it, if that's fair to say. So I'm going to use Grim Soul as the example here. So if a lot of you guys have been playing it or if you are aware of the game or anyway, what they did, um, oh, this was this has been a little while back now anyway. They essentially had certain resources um, and certain zones blocked off. And the only way to get there was once you had the horse, you had to upgrade it to a certain, um, well, let's say, uh, rank. And if you upgraded it to that certain rank, you would have the ability to travel over to the next area. So what I'm thinking is once the next areas have been, uh, once they're ready to go, the wagon should be ready to go. And that should give us the ability to travel over to the next areas and we can experience the expansion of this game so right now we've had expansion here southern expansion here north this is our standard area here which we've always had it it's always been historically as it is the bridge was what was holding us back to get to the south here once they had readied tier 4 resources we got the crossing. I would suspect that we would need to either clear this, and this is probably why we need the wagon for whatever purpose that may be, or however that sits, and that should hopefully allow us to move over into here. Or possibly we could be moving over here somewhere. Who knows? But we did used to have this all unblanketed at one point, and it was a while, a little while back now. Now, I'm, I'm guessing that that's all to do with, you know, development and things like that, not releasing certain areas and things like that, I understand. Um, but I'm guessing this is probably going to be the next area, only because you've got this little cutout here, and it w wouldn't take much to release this part over here to allow us to um, open up to the next part. But in saying that, when Tier 5 resources become ready and available, and in fact, once they have a purpose, that's what I'm thinking. That's we'll have an expansion of the base. Uh, sorry, of the of the map here. Um, you could always fill out what we've got up here. You can definitely do that. That doesn't really. That wouldn't really change the fact, in my opinion. But um, I'm not too sure. It's all speculation here at the moment, guys. So not too sure exactly how I would um, do it myself. But I would think that we would have the ability at some point to move over and you know obtain tier 5 resources and obviously explore the rest of the map and hopefully those new areas may allow us to do fishing. So that's what I'm thinking. But again this is where we can only speculate and we, you know once we get updates from the developers from themselves we should be able to you know, have a better understanding as to what and when will these things will come. So anyway, I think we have spent a good amount of time on the subject today, but also I think we've done enough today to warrant a video. So I think with that said and done, I think we'll go ahead and leave it here for today. So if you guys ended up enjoying this one here, not a lot that went down. So. It was just a bit of a hangout today, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it all the same. 
hit the like button, comment down below, let me know your thoughts about everything that I've discussed here today, and I want to hear what your thoughts would be with regards to everything. And if you guys can, if you haven't done so already, hit the subscribe button and notification bell icon so you don't miss out on any YouTube videos. Anyway, take it easy guys and I shall catch you next time.